lesson, I'm going to show you how to make sour cream muffins with a streusel topping, almost like a coffee cake muffin. Um, today's uh, muffin is going to focus on using the creamy method for mixing quick breads. Remember, quick breads are quick to make, quick to bake, quick to eat. Um, however, you, when we made the blueberry muffins, you, you measure dry and liquid. With this one, you are going to start off by creaming your butter and sugar together. Okay, so let's start doing that. Okay, this recipe calls for eight ounces of butter. Eight ounces equivalent to two sticks of butter. One stick is four ounces. Okay, so because this is already, you know, measured out for you, you don't need to get out any scale or anything because I'm telling you two sticks is eight ounces. If you were taking this from one big tub of butter, then you would have to measure this out. Okay, so it's ever available to you in your place. All right. Next up, we are, I've already measured for us our sugar, okay? You need eight ounces of sugar using your scale. Um, just as a quick recap, when you turn the scale on, wait, be patient. My recipe calls for ounces, so I have it in the ounces mode already. If for some reason it calls for grams, which sometimes it may, you use the mode button to switch. pounds and I'm back to ounces. Um, when you're measuring something you put um, some type of holder on and then you're going to zero it out and then you're ready for measuring. Okay? So since I've already measured out I'm going to add my sugar directly to the bowl and then I'm going to start the cleaning process. Now to do that you can use a wire whip or a rubber scraper. Make sure that your butter is at room temperature um, or at least cold. If it's not, you can use a kitchen mixer and that will break it up and bring it to room temperature right away. I, mine's at room temperature, so I'm going to actually be mixing this by hand for the sake of this video. And then I'm just going to move my bowl around. And the goal, hold on one second, I'm going to take a quick break. I finished creaming our butter and sugar together. As you can see, it's all combined together, and it's light and fluffy. That's what you're looking for, okay? Our next step is you're going to add two eggs directly in. I've lightly beaten them in a separate bowl already, and then you're going to mix these in. You're just going to want to combine it so you see no uh, white or anything. It's going to be some somewhat clumpy and that's fine. Just like so. And I think I'm pretty good. Because I'm going to be continuously mixing as I add my other ingredients. Okay, so this is our wet mixture and that's good to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to add our dry ingredient as flour and our recipe calls for 10 ounces which I've already measured for us. I'm going to put this into a bowl. And then I'm going to add in uh, our leavening agent. This recipe calls for baking powder and baking soda, a teaspoon of each. So they'll both be up here. They react together um, to leaven or make your muffin rise. And then a little bit of salt, which just helps uh, kind of level out the rising process and adds a little bit of flavor. Okay, and I'm going to add that directly to there. I'm just going to mix this around. Okay. Now, because these are called sour cream muffins, and I know that sounds weird. Ew, that's going to be gross adding sour cream. This is going to make these muffins so soft to the bite, tender. You're not, they're not going to taste like sour cream. They're just going to add a nice, smooth, rich flavor, um, and they're going to make these so delicious. Okay. When you add this in, you are going to add, um, you're going to alternate between sour cream and dry ingredients into the butter mixture three to, in three uh, bouts, okay? So I'm just going to add in a little bit of the flour and a little bit of our sour cream and mix. The reason why you are going to be adding it this way is just to even... Um, to combine these equally to make it somewhat smooth, where with the muffin um, muff, me method, excuse me, it was okay for them to be somewhat lumpy. This 
this won't be as lumpy just because we're not, we're going to be mixing it in three different bouts. But it is going to be a lot heavier batter because of the sour cream. Um, this is essentially our liquid ingredient opposed to adding milk. Where, we'll mi where milk is going to add a rich flavor, not as rich as the sour cream. Okay, we're about a third more. A little more of our sour cream. And then, ooh, just a little spout. Mix it up. And because the sour cream is so um, thick, it is going to, you're going to really have to put a little elbow grease and it has a, a good amount of flour to mix this up. Because you don't want to see a streak of, of sour cream. You want it very well mixed. Okay, and then our last bout of flour. And then our sour cream directly into there. Mix this up. We're almost good to go. Okay, our last ingredient is vanilla, which is just going to add flavor. It's our extract, which is, I've added one teaspoon. I've already pre-measured that. That's why I just added it in. It was measured accurately. Okay. And now, our batter is good. I'm going to set this off to the side. Because now I'm going to quickly prepare our streusel topping. A streusel topping is a mixture of uh, butter, white sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. Okay? On your recipe, you'll have the, the measurements for you so you can measure them out. You're going to have four ounces of flour. You're going to combine that in with both sugars. You have brown sugar which has, has a different texture than white sugar, so, um, for a little bit of chewiness, and it, it combines well with the white. I have added my white sugar. We had one ounce of brown sugar and three ounces of regular, and then a pinch, a little bit of a pinch of cinnamon. I think I have added two pinches here, because I like cinnamon. And I'm just gonna combine this together. And then, the best part, which is going to add all the flavor, five ounces of butter, which I've cut into chunks um, because you're going to cut this in like so. And what you want is you want the butter to crumble together to form your streusel. So it's like a crumbly topping. I'm going to use my hands just to get it together. As long as your hands are clean, they're your best tool. And you just want it mixed just until it starts clumping a, a little bit together and the butter has um, softened up. So this is pretty much, this is good. I'm going to crumble this off. I'm just going to wipe my hands. Here. And then now we're going to spoon, that's your finished uh, streusel. Now we're going to spoon our batter into our muffin liners. Um, I've already uh, prepared the pan, 12. Um, now with this, remember we use the portion scoop for equal distribution. I've already leveled it off and then put it right in. This makes for a little bit quicker um, distribution of the batter. And it's a lot even, much more even, than if you were just going to spoon it in by hand, which we most, most of us traditionally do at home. Okay? For the sake of time, I'm just going to stop, and I'll continue um, afterwards when I bake these. But let me show you how you're going to put your streusel topping on. You're going to take a nice clump, and you're just going to crumble it right onto the top. And what's going to happen is when it bakes, it's going to melt um, together and make like a caramely, crunchy uh, topping. This is going to press this in. 
like that. Okay, I'm going to do it for the second one. You can always, um, there's no exact amount that you can put on the top because some people like a lot of crumbly topping and some people don't like as much. Um, so you can always go back and put more on at the end just to make sure you have enough for all of them. Okay, um, I'm going to put them in the oven. These bake for about 20 minutes once you're finished doing all of this. Um, and then you'll be able to eat and enjoy. I'll show you the finished product when complete. Thank you. Hello. Um, I have just taken your sour cream muffins out of the oven. This is what they should look like, nice golden brown. You can see when you take them out. You're going to take them out to cool. I just took them out. Um, they have the nice crisp coating. They're just lightly golden brown. If they're not golden brown, they're not done yet. And if they're black, you've burned them. Enjoy.